Good morning and thank you for joining me on Delicious by Debbie. And I have for some time been wanting to can some pork. So we were at Sam's Club yesterday and I got two pork loins, of course they're boneless, and I wanna get those ready to can. So I have my jars in the dishwasher being sterilized and washed and now I'm gonna cut up the meat into chunks. I won't put you through the process of both pork loins, but I'll at least show you some steps. I like to wear a pair of gloves, this is pork. I'll take my watch off too. Okay. I'm just going to take as much of the fat off as I can. I don't want to take it all off, but there's always, there's always a little fat. Got a dish here to put the fat in. Back always has a strip of fat on it. So we're going to try to get that off. You can buy canned beef, pork, chicken in the stores, especially down in Amish country. I see it quite a bit. But I have been wanting to can just a little bit of my own. Okay, just a little bit more of this off. Okay, I got as much of the fat off as I could. I've got a little bit more here I'd like to get off. But for the most part, I've got as much of, it doesn't hurt to leave a little bit on. This is a very thin piece, but I'm gonna take it off. And now I'm gonna cut it into chunks and put it here in this bowl so that I have it ready to can. So I am going to get these strips all cut Now I'm just gonna cut these into chunks. And uh, pressure can it. <clears throat> I'm gonna do mine in pints. So it will pressure can at, I believe, I gotta look in my book for sure, but I think it's 10 pounds pressure for 75 minutes for pints. Okay, I have my meat all cut up and I have my jars right out of the dishwasher. They're hot, but I took my finger and went around each one of them, make sure there were no rough places, no chips, because they will not seal if they do. The, your jars don't have to be hot when you're fresh, uh, raw packing your meat, but I wanted to sterilize mine anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and start packing them. And I'm going to push them down a little bit. I want to leave an inch headspace at the top of each jar. Just about where that rim comes from there up. There should be no meat. So go ahead and get these all packed. Then I'm going to put some herbs and salt in with it. Okay, now that I have the jars all filled, I want to wipe the tops of them off, and I always keep a sink full of hot, soapy dishwater, and into it I put just a little bit of bleach when I'm canning, just to keep things nice and clean. And I'm just gonna wipe off the tops of those just to make sure there's nothing on the top that would keep them from sealing. Okay, I've got all those wiped off. Now I'm going to put, and I use canning salt. You can use what you want to, but um, this just keeps the liquid in it clearer and helps everything keep its color better. Um, so I'm going to put a half of a teaspoon into each one of these jars. I wanna put a half of a teaspoon of my herbs to Providence. I put this in my chicken when I can it to just a scant teaspoon. And it just gives the meat such a nice flavor. Hey, okay, I have my jar lids and I had them in a 
pan of water and brought them to a boil just so they're nice and hot and that rubber's hot to adhere to the tops of the jars because I'm going to put these in the pressure canner right away. Now I'm going to put the rings on and I'm not going to put them real tight. I'm just going to put them on so they're like finger tight. I could put, because it's really not, all that ring is doing is holding this lid on so that it seals. So I'm not going to do them tight. Don't need to put any liquid in these. The meat will make its own liquid. Okay, I have both canners on. I have six in one, five in the other. They wouldn't all fit in one, so I'm using both canners. This one, I put at 10 pounds pressure. There's a 10 there. When that starts to jiggle, then I'll turn it down enough so it's only doing that a couple of times a minute. And we want it, that's 10 pound pressure, so it's, it's gonna let me know when it's at 10 pounds. And this one, I will have to watch the gauge until it gets to 10 and then start turning the heat down to keep it there so that it is at the right temperature. So I'll show you when they come okay, out. My canners are done. Uh, this one with the pressure gauge, the pressure hasn't gone completely down, but the other one has. And so I op went ahead and opened it and I'm gonna put them here on this cutting board that has a cloth on it. There they are, they made their own juice. You can see, them, see it still bubbling. So I didn't have to put any liquid in those at all. Second canner is done, so I'm gonna go ahead and get those jars out. All of the first ones I took out have already sealed. You'll hear a snap pop. Before I put these down in the basement on the shelf, I will take the ring off carefully after they sit about, oh, till tomorrow. And um, I'll take the ring off, I'll write pork and the year, wipe them all off real good, wash them off, um, and put them downstairs in the basement.